I would like to introduce someone that's done so much for ELF over a period of time. And that length of time is really expanding. Um, I'm not going to go into much more because I'm going to get some of the trouble. But she's a lovely, lovely, lovely uh, lady. And I'd like to introduce to all now Dr. Navina Evans. saying thank you to Jason. He's actually had to go, um, but um, we were we are so privileged to have had him. I'm sure you. I see a lot of people nodding, um, and uh, for really giving us a few minutes to celebrate, but then immediately getting to the heart of the matter of what we want to do. Um, I uh, as he he gave us a challenge around what we want to do with population health in this organisation. My elf family, I'm really proud and grateful. A few years ago when we did our big conversations and consulted about shifting our trust strategy to doing the right thing, as he said, the moral thing, the ethical thing, and everybody came on board, colleagues, staff, service users, people we talked to, at a time when um, it was still, we were still in the days of, you know, we do what we do, we do it really well, um, but that's all we do. And we, together, took a really bold step to move it, um, to include thinking about our contribution to the whole of the communities that we serve and putting population health right there. So I found that a um, really wonderful challenge. Um, it was, um, he also said it's jolly difficult, it's going to be really, really hard. He used some words which I won't use. Um, <laughs> Um, but we all know what he meant, um, and I intend to be here for even longer um, than I have already, and uh, we, we will do this, um, and I feel invigorated. I want to thank all the service users, staff, and my colleagues who took part in the plenary and the World Cafe. Um, I thought that was, that was tremendous. My only, only point is there were so many that I didn't get to spend any time with. I don't know what we can do about that. Um, because the richness in the discussions and the conversations was just really super wonderful. Um, as, a, as a chief exec, I broke all the rules so I could go and flit around and see lots of different ones and they were amazing. Um, this conference has been arranged completely differently uh, from previous ones from the start. Um, the theme, whose, whose improvement is it anyway? I think it's a really important challenge and it meant it was designed differently from the very beginning. So again, thank you to the steering group, service users especially, and our staff, because you did all of this a lot in your own time. Um, and that was just wonderful and I think it culminated in this hugely successful morning for us. Um, I want to thank all my colleagues from ELFT, but especially thank our friends from outside of ELFT who come to join us and share today. And I know that you continue to share, you've shared before and you will continue to share um, going forward. Please don't be strangers. Um, come and join us. Come and you know, be in touch, stay in touch, let us visit you and come and visit us um, throughout the year and beyond. Um, so as a way of saying a special thank you, we, you are all now the proud owners of one of these. Um, uh, in our, our very special illustrated <laughs> guide to quality improvement, and this is based on our learning um, from undertaking quality improvement in ELFT for the past five years. Um, and we, we love having fun in this organisation, and I think this is lots of fun. It's paper. People know how I feel about paper, but it actually smells really nice. <laughs> it does. And, uh, you know, it's like one of those special things that you keep on your special bookshelf. Um, it is actually also available as an uh, e-book, um, so that you can, I think you can get it on the microsite, so you can, you can share, spread it, send it around um, far and wide. And, and I think uh, I, we have Sonia Sparkles to thank for this amazing, she's absolutely amazing, and if you don't know her work, go and look it up, because she's, she's really super. 
Um, I want to just spend a few minutes reflecting on what I've heard um, and why I, I think I, you must indulge me, I'm really proud to be Chief Executive at ELFT. Um, I think I'm the luckiest Chief Executive in the country. Um, and I think what you saw in the world, all the world cafes and what we saw here in the plenary as well and just chatting and all the, all the smiley faces in the room are testament to that. Um, there were so many amazing um, presentations, so many amazing projects, and I just want to say that we started off many, many years ago as a mental health trust. We are not a mental health trust anymore. We are now half, nearly more than half, providing community services. We have primary care. We have a whole range of services. We have now have a partnership with a social enterprise. Um, and all of that is because we want to do the right thing by our communities. That's all about population health. Um, so I'm really proud that we were able to show you some of the work that we're doing and some of our struggles, some of the wins, uh, some of the embarrassing moments, um, and that was, that was truly wonderful. Um, I try not to do this, but I always have a favorite to share. Um, and there are quite a few, but I don't know if any of you saw the one about the uh, reducing callbacks um, for catheter blocking blockages. Um, and the, the, the thing that really got me in that, that little project was um, someone saying that sometimes they'd go and there were all these callback, callbacks and there were no blockages and they realised that the person really just wanted somebody to come and visit and talk to. Um, and, you know, if we hadn't done that in that way, we, we know that sort of stuff happens, but when you measure it and you can think about, then what can we do? to help. That, so that's just one story. There are, there are loads of others um, and um, really wonderful to, to hear. Um, and I want to just talk about the plenary for a minute about co-production. Um, all of those really live, true stories about what we do in this organisation. And I think the thing for me is demonst you demonstrated what a struggle it is to truly, really properly do co-production um, and it's constant and um, even when we were sitting here I think I had Paul come in have a little quiet word in my ear giving me a little example of where it hasn't quite happened um, and I think that that's what's so important about this if we truly want to make things better for all of us and actually co-production makes our jobs easier so out of that, what I took is the incredible patience and understanding and kindness of our service users, carers, and people participation colleagues. Not just those of you in this room, but beyond as well. Because we, it's like we take two steps forward, one step back, sometimes three steps back, and then you have to help us push to go forward again. And that seems to be the continuous dance that we're doing um, and you have tremendous patience and um, commitment to us as an organization but also now to the wider community because you're with us on this journey around our strategy and uh, population health. Did you know that? Right, okay, so, um, so finally I want to make uh, kind of a call to action. I love call to actions. I feel like an activist. Um, and we launched our brand new strategy um, and we set ourselves a really bold mission to improve the quality of life for all of those we serve. We were really excited when we launched it. It was really invigorating and a wonderful celebration. Then we calmed down and we thought, oh dear, how do you actually do this? Um, and it's really hard, and I think Jason reminded us that, that of us this morning. Um, so, I don't know. And that's what the call, this call of action is about. Um, we 
could all do this together. Um, and we have the answers. It is possible. Um, we know that. Uh, we don't really need permission. We don't really, we're not in Elft, we don't really like rules. We have to have some, I promise, CQC. <laughs> we do have some, and uh, we, we follow them, of course. Um, but we also like to, to, to be a little bit more creative because that's where the solutions come. So this is a call to action to help shift that gear um, for the delivery of our trust strategy. And there are several opportunities just around the corner. We've got um, cohort three for enjoying work. Please register because if we look after ourselves, we take control and we can enjoy what we do, we deliver so much better care for the people we serve. We've also got um, wave nine of the Improvement Leaders Program. We need people to sign up to that, get on with that and also our triple aim projects we started having some triple aim projects um, already happening in the trust and let's be bold and brave and do more of that finally i want to end on a note uh, around of hope around respect and dignity in this organization um, we realize that we don't always get that right um, and it's a really important thing that we think about for each other, for staff, for our service users, for carers. Um, so for all of us as a community that works together. And this week, um, we've got the walking a mile in my shoes as a start to that uh, campaign around respect and dignity, which will underpin our values and everything that we do. So we're starting with the, the sort of pop-up um, event in, in East London, and we'll be going to Bedfordshire as well. So please get involved in that too, and um, that will be uh, something else that will help us on our way. Plenty to do this year, and plenty to celebrate, and a huge thank you to everyone.